We've seen Flipboard, we've seen Zeit and 360 News, but now we're at AOL to see Editions, which is a, a little bit different take on the magazine, the online magazine business. <laughs> So, who are you? My name is Saul, Saul Littman. I am a senior director, a senior director of mobile here at AOL. Uh, manage a team here called Mobile First, which is an entrepreneurial, awesome team that uh, came out of uh, Santa Cruz, actually. Yeah. A company called Rally Up, and before that, 12 Seconds. Yeah. And uh, we're, we built this awesome product, which I'm excited to show you. Yeah, you're, you've been on our show before with 12 Seconds TV. So That's right. Thanks for uh, being on again. Yeah, I'm in stoked a to be place. here. Yeah, really different place. <laughs> Beautiful place. Uh, so, uh, so your team is responsible for this uh, new thing called Editions. Yeah, it's our team. I mean, it's our team. We're supported by a lot of other folks here at AOL. But um, yeah, it's our team. It's really exciting. We. Uh, put a lot of effort into it. Really uh, tough project, a lot to build. Yeah. Um, does a lot. Really simple and beautiful, you know, on the outside and, you know, but beyond, uh, beyond the screen, there's so much going on with this product. It's a really cool product. Yeah. Uh, iPad only right now? Yeah, iPad only. Okay. We're, we're looking at other things, but we don't see, we don't see quite the demand yet um, in, in the Android market. Might be coming. Might uh, be coming. We'll I hear see. it is. We'll see. I'm told. Now we've seen Flipboard. We helped break uh, Flip. You know, right, we, right. we helped uh, talk about Flipboard the first night. Uh, we've seen so several other competitors. What makes you guys different or better? Or well, uh, I mean, I think uh, you know the devil's in the details, right? The um, we take a much more holistic view on on news. Uh, we do a few different things. One is uh, we we make it for you once a day. We're, we're not a real-time application. We're, we're focused on the morning experience, just like you used to read a newspaper, right? Yeah. We're, we're a daily magazine, um, and, and we're very focused on that experience. Um, we also do a few different things than some of our competitors. First of all, we have a focus on giving you a more holistic experience, a more holistic content experience. So we do things like top news, right? Like you need to know what's going on in the world. Um, so we saw London riots. Right, uh, London yeah. riots. It, you know, you're, the things you're going to need to know when you get to the coffee maker at work, right? Um, we do uh, local news. You know, you put in your zip code and we, you know, go and try and aggregate content from local sources for you because it's really important as well. Yeah. Um, and then we give you personalized news. So you get to indicate the sources that you like and prefer, right? Um, you get to say, I'm interested in basket weaving or whatever it is and as news pops up about those things we try to bring it to you so we um you know we're, we're also organized into sections yeah. um quite so like a magazine and yeah it's like and business and entertainment and family and lifestyle 15 different sections you can pick from you can choose and organize them any way you want and uh and then we build you literally a magazine every single day that's just for you as unique as you are and it has an end to it, right? That's it's, right. Uh, Flipboard just keeps going and going and right. going. As yeah. long as you keep flipping pages, it keeps going. Right, right. which is which is cool. And and I think that you know, there are a lot of products in this category right now. Um, but one thing that we wanted again to focus on was uh, completion, right? Like, I can read, you know, forty pages and and I hit the last page and I'm and I'm done. Yeah. Um, we uh, we don't kid ourselves to think that you know we're the the one place that people can read news, right? Like, people are gonna read news all over the place. In fact, we did a bunch of research that iPad usage spikes a lot in the morning and at night. Yeah. Uh, because most people that have iPads are on computers all day long, right? They're, um, you know, getting their breaking news from, from TweetDeck or, you know, a million other places. So, uh, we really wanted to nail the morning experience. Like, that is what we wanted to do. We totally focused the product around that. Um, and uh, I think we've, uh, I think we've, we've done pretty well at it. Now, underneath the covers, how, how is, is your systems finding all this news and categorizing? We it use, it? you know, a ton of different APIs. One of which is Diffbot, which yeah. I know you. Uh, we just interviewed them, yeah. and that's part of this. Interview. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so we use them um, for doing a bunch of things, including helping us figure out 
what is important news, right? Like, we don't have a human editor here, okay? There's nobody saying the London riots are really important. You should report that. And if you use Twitter's trending for that, then your cover would be Justin Bieber every day. We'd yeah. have to, like, create a special Justin Bieber filter, and that would just be... Anyways, um, <laughs> so, you know, what DiffBot does is we have DiffBot trained on, uh, for every section, like 20 different sources um, to pick, literally pick out what each one of those sources has in common. So if CNN's reporting about the London riots and so is Fox News and so is MSNBC and, you know, then we find a commonality, we group that into a topic, and we say, that's the number one story, make sure that's in your edition. So yeah. it, that's just one of the many ways we use DiffBot. Yeah, and DiffBot can actually look at a page and say and tell whether uh, something is featured on that page right. or exactly. lower on that it page. It learns what's going on on that page and uh, and then it can tell us when something new hits that page and report it back to us. So now, uh, with additions, I can train it over time to get more news that I like and That's less right. news that I don't like by clicking on text. Right. So, you know, basically you can pick any article, right? And as that article comes up, you'll see a group of tags at the top of the article. And you can basically say, you know, I like this, I don't like that. Um, and it reports it back to us, and we start to take those things into consideration as we're building the news for you the next day. Yeah. Um, essentially, you know, using DiffBot, we use DiffBot for our, our tags. Um, and then we have a bunch of algorithms that sit underneath that to you know, figure out what's important to you. We also use things that aren't so explicit, right? So you don't have to uh, say I like things or don't like things. We actually look at what you're reading, too. Um, and, and So know, if I never read the sports section, does it go away or does it... No, you can actually go into settings and just delete the sports section. Right. So you get 15 different sections you can choose from. You can pick and choose the ones that interest you. But you said it's learning as I read. So if I don't read baseball articles, if I just skip over those because I'm bored with yeah. baseball, but, but I read all the hockey ones? It's, it's more about what you're doing, not what you're not doing. Okay. It's, it's, you know, it's looking at, yeah, you know, that guy always reads articles about the Yankees. That guy must like the Yankees. You know, we start to weight things differently. And uh, based on that weighting, we'll uh, select different articles for you than we would have otherwise. Very cool. What's the hardest thing of creating an iPad app like this uh, from scratch for a big company? Wow, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, you know, building editions has been a journey, right? We've seen so many companies, uh, keeping everybody focused on track has been really hard because we've seen so many companies doing exciting things in this space. And, you know, finding our niche in that space I think has been a, a really exciting proposition. You know, we looked at this as an opportunity to a, really attack uh, a market that is nascent, but is also growing so fast and huge, you want to jump on it, right? Yeah. Uh, I've never seen a device go from, you know, early adopter brand new to totally mainstream as fast as the iPad. And I mean, there's a bunch of reasons for it, but Clearly, this is a game that AOL, which is you know one of the biggest content companies in the world, absolutely had to get into. We wanted to do it the right way, yeah. and so you know, turning out a quality product that captured the attention and not just our user base, but early adopters. Um, that's that's hard, you know. It's hard to do, and it's a great challenge. What's the business model here? I don't see any ads yet. There's no ads yet. There will be ads. It will be ad supported. Yeah. Um, we. We at AOL do have uh, an infrastructure to sell ads, um, but we actually wanted to look at how people used it. Um, take a moment before we threw in a bunch of ads, see how people used it and try to pick the right ad platform to, to suit the product. We're very focused on the user experience. Yeah. Where do you go from here, and are you going to add any interactivity or stuff that uses the internet? Because we could all be chatting while reading this, or yep. there's all sorts of different we, um, interactive. I mean, we're types. getting amazing feedback already on the product. I mean, it's done yeah. in its first week. It's done amazingly well. Um, we get uh, we get a thousand individual pieces of feedback a day from users, um, and so it's very easy to see some trends, uh, and you know so. There are a bunch of things we need to do, um, and we're excited to do to make the product better. Uh, and we're, we are interested in 
interactivity, we're interested in doing more um, with your social feeds, you know, we're, we're not a socially curated product. While, we, yeah. while you can add your Twitter and Facebook accounts, um, and we do use some signals from those, uh, it's not actually based on uh, what other people are yeah. talking about, it's actually based on what you're interested in. Uh, and um, so it's... Finding the right mix there is really tough. Yeah. Could, uh, pe people like me who have lots of uh, Twitter and Facebook right. have a really good experience, but if, you, if you're like my dad and you only have five people you're following, um, it's tougher to have a good experience without having uh, somewhere to start with. Yeah, right? and that's what we do. That's what we, do. We, we give you somewhere to start with, yeah. and then you can tune it. Very yeah. cool. I think it's a cool advantage. Where do we learn more about it? Editions.com. Yeah. Um, iTunes store. iTunes okay. store. Come yeah. on, download it. Tell me what you think. I read every single feedback email that comes in. So at the very back of the uh, of the uh, application, there's a feedback form front and center, and I'd love to hear what people think. Very cool. Thanks for showing it to me. Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, Appreciate thanks. it.